The Two Sisters, a charming portrait of childhood by Fragonard. The Two Sisters is a painting by the French artist Jean Honoré Fragonard, who is widely regarded as one of the most prolific and versatile painters of the Rococo era. The painting, created around 1769-70, is currently on view at the Met Fifth Avenue in Gallery 631. The painting depicts two young girls, presumably sisters, sitting on a couch and playing with a doll and a toy horse. The older girl, dressed in a bright yellow dress, holds the doll in her lap and smiles at the viewer. The younger girl, wearing a pink dress, leans on her sister's shoulder and looks at the doll with curiosity. The doll represents Polichinelle, a popular character from the Italian comedy theatre known as Commedia dell'arte. Polichinelle is a hunchbacked clown who wears a black mask and a white costume with colorful patches. He is known for his witty jokes and his love for food and money. The painting is remarkable for its lively and delicate brushwork, which creates a sense of movement and texture in the fabrics, the hair, and the skin of the girls. Fragonard uses his characteristic palette of yellow, pink, and turquoise to create a harmonious and cheerful atmosphere. The background is darkened to highlight the figures and their expressions. The painting is also notable for its original size, which was about twice as large as it is now. A print after the painting shows that the toy horse, which is now partly visible at the lower right corner, was originally pushed by the older girl, and the doll lay limp over its legs. The print also reveals that the painting had a different title, The Happy Family. The painting is a charming portrait of childhood, which reflects Fragonard's interest in capturing the innocence and playfulness of children. The painting also updates the theme of children and their relationship to adulthood, which was explored by another French painter, Jean Simeon Chardin, in the earlier part of the 18th century. Chardin's paintings of children often showed them engaged in domestic activities, such as reading, sewing, or playing musical instruments. Fragonard, on the other hand, shows the children in a more fanciful and imaginative setting, playing with toys that represent the world of theater and comedy. Fragonard thus made the subject his own, adding a touch of humor and fantasy to the genre of child portraiture.